Yo, TTC Niner Empire, what's up? Uh, just making this video real quick. I know it's late in the week. Um, I'm not doing a hate against indie. Uh, for one, I don't really know any uh, indie fans in the TTC. And, you know, I figured I'd just go over the game and, you know, just my game thoughts and stuff like that. But I want to knock this out and get it out of the way first. Uh, congrats, Arizona. Y'all did what you need to do in overtime. Uh, you know, got got the touchdown instead of uh, putting it in for three. And, of course, it was uh, Larry Fitzgerald that did it. You know, I really can't say too much there, but congrats. You know, y'all got the win. Good shit. I'm not even going to fucking go on about Brian Hoyer. I'm, yeah, it's just what it is. Uh, I'll wait till after the Cindy game if he fucks up, whatever. If he keeps playing like he has, yeah, I might I might come out and make a little rant video. Um, but like I said, I'm not doing a hate week for Indy. I'll crow if we lose. I ain't got no issues with that. I'll try to get my videos out a little sooner too. I know this is kind of late, but been really busy at work this week. We had some shit come up that was unexpected, so. Uh, but, yeah, this indie game, for me personally, um, I don't know how, how to feel about this game. This isn't just another game, uh, for a lot of Niner fans. This is watching Frank Gore play against the 49ers. Wait, what? Frank Gore play against the 49ers. You talk about one of my all-time favorite 49er players. The heart and soul of this team for a freaking decade. For a decade. And, wow, um... Yeah, it's just going to be surreal uh, seeing him in that ugly-ass uniform. So, uh, you know, we got to watch out for T.Y. Hilton and, uh, of course, Frank Gore. Uh, you know, never count that man out. Never. Uh, Frank Gore's still a hard-nosed runner. Uh, and, and, you know, he can still get the job done. Man's four yards away from passing Eric Dickerson all-time on the uh, all-time rushing list. He's already a top ten all-time rusher. Uh, Going to be first ballot. Should be first ballot. Hall of Famer. No questions asked about it. None. There's guys on the list that are ahead of him. You know, some people could look and say he ain't got no championships. There's guys on that list ahead of him that ain't got no championships that was first ballot Hall of Famers. That's how I feel about Frank Gore. Uh, yeah, we still miss him over here. I understand we got Carlos Hyde, but for me, Frank Gore was just something else. That's It was something special with Frank. Um... He's always going to be missed. I hear him over there in Indy. I hear him always saying he, he going to be red and gold. He's always a 49er. And he ain't lying. He could come home anytime he wants. But, uh, yeah, this game I'm going to have some mixed feelings about. Um, you know, I really don't know what to expect of our offense. But if our defense shows up like they did against Arizona... We got a really good chance, even if we're just kicking field goals, to win this game. Uh, I really believe. Um, you know, I just send some shout-outs uh, to uh, Doomerville. Yo, congrats on getting career sack number 100. You got 101, too, but you joined the 100 sack club. Good shit. Solomon Thomas finally got your first NFL sack, Defo. You know, you've been playing lights out. You've been playing as one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL so far this year. And the numbers don't lie. People can argue it all they want, but the numbers don't lie. Uh, Solomon, or, uh, yeah, Solomon Thomas, 
I wasn't real high on the pick. I guess he's been playing better than I thought he has. Uh, uh, what, two out of the last four weeks, he was nominated for uh, Defensive Rookie of the Week. Okay. I didn't I didn't think he'd been playing that good. Um, that's just me, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see how he is at the end of the year. Uh, it's looking like the Washington game. We might... Uh, have Eric Reed and Ruben Foster back, maybe. If not, then it'll probably be Dallas. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I got. Uh, you know, let's go get this win, get our first win of the season, get this shit out of the way. Um, you know, I'm tired of seeing us be so fucking close and just not putting these fucking games away. No excuse for it. It's unacceptable. It's got to get done. Period. You lose three games by a total of eight points is unacceptable. So let's go, Niners. Get this shit done. I'll talk to y'all later.